to today's vlog on common grammar mistakes in the English language. Whether you are a native speaker or language learner, we all make mistakes. But the key is to identify and fix them. In this vlog, we'll be discussing the most common grammar errors and providing you with the helpful tips and tricks to improve your English. So let's get started and make sure you take notes. Using if conditionals. If I visit London, I will meet you. If I visit London, I will meet you. Use simple present tense to refer to the future after conjunctions like when, after, if, as soon as. Example, I will talk to him when I see him in the next two days. I will call you as soon as I arrive at the airport. If the plan succeeds, I will come. Married with or married to? She's married with an engineer. By the way, you can pause this video and you can play among your friends or you can test your knowledge. Correct. She's married to an engineer. Rule. To is a correct preposition to use with married. Every with singular noun, every with plural noun. Every student is intelligent in the class. Every student is intelligent in the class. A singular noun is used with every. Using but and although together. Although it was raining, but we went to the market. Although it was raining, we went to market. True. If the sentence starts with although, do not use but with that. Although cell phones have many merits, the merits cannot be overlooked. Although he was not well, he attended the function. Your, you are. What was your answer? What was your answer? Your indicates possession that is something belonging to you, while your is a contraction of you are. Example, where is your cell phone? You are responsible for this project. It's and it's. It's Sunday morning. It's Sunday morning. Rule is, it's a contraction for it is, and it's is a possessive pronoun for things. Example, the floor looks great with its new mat. It's raining outside. There, there, there. Parents work for their children. Parents work for their children. There is generally used for a place. There refers to possession. Something belonging to them. There are is a con contraction for there are. The so children are playing with their toys. There are many shops. They're going to Delhi. Unique and most unique. This is the most unique dress. It said, this is the most unique dress. It's, this is the unique dress. Adjectives like unique. Ideal, entire, extreme, perfect, do not admit different degrees of comparison. Example, that job is perfect for him. Instead, that job is most perfect for him. These conditions are ideal. Me and I, Smith and me went to the mall. Smith and I went to the mall. When talking about doing some activity with someone else, use his or her name followed by I. My brother and I love ice cream. John and I are planning a trip. Then, than. She is beautiful than her. Instead, she is beautiful than her. None is used for a comparison. Then is used for planning a schedule or to indicate instruction. He's clever than her. First, I will go to Amritsar, then Delhi. Amount or number. A greater amount of people are visiting the stadium. Instead, 
a greater um, number of people are visiting the stadium. Amount is used for unaccountable commodities. Number is used for countable things. A large amount of sand is needed for the project. We can watch a number of TV shows. Fear or less. There are less dresses. There are fewer dresses. That's the correct one. Fewer is used for countable items. Less is used for unaccountable commodities. Example, there was less rainfall this year. There are fewer students in the class. Did not. I did not saw him yesterday. I did not see him yesterday. Use base form of the verb with did. Example, I did not study maths. He didn't get up early today. Her mother did not allow her to go out with her friends. Too enough. The shirt is too enough for me. The shirt is too big for me. Too is used before adjectives and adverbs. So in the above sentence, use too with the adjective big. Enough is used before nouns. Examples. I don't have enough time. The ring was too small. Gerunds. We enjoy to go for a walk after dinner. We enjoy going for a walk after dinner. A gerund is a verb form of which function as a noun. In other words, a gerund is a noun made from a verb by adding ing. There are some verbs like dislike which are always followed by a gerund. For example, we enjoy going for a walk. Gerund always follow the verb enjoy. I love eating ice cream. Every day, every day. He needs a car for his everyday activities. He needs a car for his everyday activities. Every day is an adjective that means commonplace or happening every day. Every day is an ad adverbial phrase that means each day or daily, it can be replaced with each day or all days. Example, I meet him every day. He goes to college every day. I need laptop for my everyday work. Possessions shared by two persons. It is Smith's and Peter's car. Correct? It is Smith and Peter's car. Use apostrophe only after the name of the second person. This is Mark and Smith's house. His, hers, and it's the dog lots, uh, lost his bone. Gender is unknown. The dog lost its bone. Use it if you don't know the gender of an animal. His dog participates in many dog shows. It has won many prizes. Well, good. Indicates happiness. He feels well. He feels good. That's the correct one. Use good when expressing happiness. She feels good after attending a concert. He feels good by working for the company. Well or good to indicate quality. She cooks good. Correct it. She cooks well. Use well while expressing a quality of something or someone. The machine works well. She sings well. Each is, each are. Each of the car are fast. Each of the cars is fast. Use singular verb is 
with indefinite pronouns such as each, none, neither. Each of the students is asked. Neither of them is my classmate. One of my friends is obese. One of the one of the train is late. One of the train is late. In the above sentence, the singular countable noun train follows the quantifier one, which requires a plural noun. Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. He is one of my best friends. Pulis is, Pulis are. Incorrect. Pulis is coming. Correct is, Pulis are coming. Use plural form of R when referring to police in general. The word police is an aggregate noun, a word representing an indefinite number of parts. Aggregate nouns have a plural form. When referring to a single person or a specific department, use singular is. Example, police are blocking off the street where the robbery occurred. The police department is at the corner of the main street. Misplaced adverbs. He's almost washed all of the cars. He washed almost all of the car. Be careful when the adverb is placed in the sentence as it has a different meaning. Both of the sentences above have the different meaning. Read carefully. A omission of second part of comparison. Smiths like maths more than English. Smith likes math more than he likes English. And A. It is an old television set. It is an old television set. The rule is, if the beginning of the world sounds like a consonant, we use A. If, the, if it sounds like a vowel, we use an. We hear a vowel sound at the beginning of uncle and a consonant sound at the beginning of university. For example, a horse and a, a university. Alternate, tip and alternate. The salad is a healthier alternate. The salad is a healthier alternate too. The rule is, alternate occur in turn repeatedly, where alternative is available as another possibility or choice. The government alternate between two parties, the various alternative methods for resolving dispute. Amicable, amiable. The teams were amicable, instead the team was amiable. Amicable used for arrangements or settlements agreed peacefully by parties, where amiable used to describe the kind, gentle, and friendly people. Amiable young man greeted me. The meeting was amicable. Among or between. She could not decide among two shirts. Instead, she could not decide between the two shirts. Use between when the comparison involves only two choice. Among is used when there are three or more choices. They had to choose the winner between red and blue teams. They had to choose the winner among the five competing teams. Beside and besides. Ask them to sit besides me. Ask them to sit beside me. That's the correct one. So the rule is, Beside means next to, besides mean in addition to. Example, the, bes the bride was sitting beside the groom at the reception. Besides her famous cupcakes, she will donate cookies and a pie to the bake sale. Bring and take. He will bring the book from his friend. He will take the book from his friend. That's, again, a 
correct in a sense. So the rule is, bring is to take or go with someone or something to a place. Take is to lay hold of something with well, one's hand. Reach for and hold. Example, in an emergency, my son could give up and bring us home. He leaned forward. Sorry, he leaned forward to take her hand. Can or may. I may drive because I passed the driving test. I can drive because I passed the driving test. The rule is: can is used to express ability. May is used for expressing possibility. I can talk to her as she is my friend. It may rain tomorrow. Deadly and deadly. A beast thing can be deadly. A beast thing can be deadly. Deadly causing are able to cause death. Deadly is resembling or suggestive of death. It is a deadly weapon. His face was deadly pale. Farther or further. We will drive no further tonight. We will drive no farther tonight. The farther refers to a physical distance. Further refers to moreover in addition to a greater extent. Example, we have to walk farther than the map indicated. New Delhi is farther from Mumbai than from Noida. We need to discuss this further. Since a fall, we have been in America since three months. That's incorrect. We have been in America for three months. The rule says, preposition for indicates the length of a period of time where preposition since is used for a precise moment in the time. For example, for 20 minutes, for three days, for six months, for four years, for two centuries, for a long time. Since 9 a.m., since Monday, since January, since 1997, since 1500, since I left school. On, in. In January 13th, I will be 20. On January 20th, I will be 20. On indicating on the day or the part of the day during which event takes place, in is used for unspecific times during the day, month, season, or year. He will report on September 26th. On a very hot evening in July, she always reads newspaper in the morning. In the summer, we have a rainy season for three weeks. The new semester will start in March. I was born in 1990. No one, anyone. At the party, I didn't meet no one. At the party, I didn't meet anyone. The sentence becomes double negative in the inclusion of both didn't and nobody. Examples, I don't talk to anyone in the evening. I like no one in their family. If I was, if I were, if I was going to the movies, if I were going to the movies. Use were after I were, I win wishing something. If I were the Prime Minister, if I were given a chance, themselves are themselves. They organize the party themselves. And said they organize the party themselves. Rule says the word themselves is not in dictionary. That's a funny one. Themselves is the correct word to use. They will do their work themselves. They will do the arrangement themselves. Very and really. I felt very fantastic. I felt really fantastic. In many sentences, both really and very can be used, but there are some exceptions like really is used to emphasize in a statement or opinion. I really want to go. I really think she is beautiful. 
Very cannot be used in these sentences. Superlative. She is more tall than Sita. Correct? She is taller than Sita. Comparative adjective describe a noun as having more of a certain quality than other person or thing. Many adjectives take the comparative form by adding ER to the word softer, nicer, taller. She is shorter than Ram. He is smarter than David. In my point of view, from my point of view. In my point of view, the coaching class really helps. From my point of view, the coaching class really helps. Use either form of my point of view or in my view. In my point of view is incorrect. For example, from my point of view, she has taken good decision. In my view, Robert is the right person for the job. During a fall, she studied for a football game. She studied during the football game. During, throughout the course of duration of a period of time. For is indicating the length of a period of time. The restaurant is open during the day. My sister studied for five hours. He was jailed for 12 years. Could be better than that? Couldn't be better than that. It could be better than that when it is the best. It couldn't be better than that when it is the best. The rule says it couldn't be better than that is used when the thing is the best. It couldn't be better than that is used when there is no room of improvement. A while? A while. I'll stay in Mumbai for a while. Instead say I'll stay in Mumbai for a while. A while adverb means for a while, that is for a short period of time. While means a period of time. So in above sentence, we cannot use a while for as there will be repetition of for. We chatted for a while, stand, stand here a while. A lot, a lot. He likes her a lot. He likes her a lot. A lot is not a word. A lot is the correct word. They travel a lot. They do a lot of shopping. 40 or 40. She gave me $40. She gave me $40. Spelling of the number 4 is 4, F-O-U-R. And the spelling of the number is 40. Lightning, lightning. Tremendous flash of lightning. A tremendous flash of lightning. Lightning is a natural electrical discharge for a very short duration in the atmosphere accompanied by bright flash. Lightning equipment in a room, building, or street producing light. These clouds often bring thunder and lightning. They use fluorescent bulbs for street lightning. Lose or lose. I don't want to lose the job. I do not want to lose the job. Lose not firmly or tightly fixed in a place, lose to be deprived or cease to have a retained something. Example, the lid of the container is loose. Other than that, I don't want to lose her. Passed or passed. The car passed the bus. The car passed the bus. Passed, move or cause to move in a specified direction. Passed, gone in the time and no longer existing. Example, he passed through towns and village. The danger is now past. So, that brings to the end of this video, or to the walk. And that's a wrap-up on common grammar mistake. Well, this is the part one. You can expect another one to come real soon. I hope you found it informative and helpful in your journey to perfect your English. Remember, making mistake is part of learning process, so don't be discouraged. Keep practicing and do not hesitate to reach out for more resources. Thank you for watching and until next, keep practicing your English. And guess what? There are few errors in this video. Well, if you have viewed the presentation or the video correctly, you would be able to figure it out. Comment down in the box below what all that you learned today and I shall see you in the next one. Meanwhile, 
share, subscribe, and do like. Until then.